Hey everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Now in today's video, as you guys already know, you guys either clicked on the thumbnail and or the title, and we're going to be building a creeper only mob farm. However, if you guys want to make just a general mob farm using this exact same design, you can actually do that. You only have to remove a couple different things, and that's going to be the trapdoors and the columns that we're going to be placing inside of the farm otherwise everything else is going to be the same thing so there's that anyway but as far as the materials that are needed for the farm instead of putting them here on the video i'm actually going to put them down in the description and it's all going to depend on how big of a build you're going to be building in this one we're only going to be building six layers so if you want more than that then obviously you're going to have to have more supplies but i'll leave all that in the description down below but anyway let's go ahead and get started with this creeper only farm now i recommend that you guys go ahead and build it in the ocean as it makes you don't have to light up any caves you don't have to go ahead and light up any surrounding areas at all and it makes it really nice for pretty much any type of mob farm so what we got to do is just jump down here to the bottom pretty much what you see is in the inventory is for the most part all you're going to need as far as the different types of things that you're going to need for the farm what we're going to do is we're just going to start at the very bottom and we're just going to go ahead and put in a couple chests. So we'll just go ahead and put in a chest like that. Uh, like so. And another one on the top of it. And you can make this however tall that you guys would like. It's really completely up to you guys how big we're going to do. So we'll just say, we'll just leave it at that for, for now. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put in another hopper on the top of that. And we're going to funnel all of our other ones into that specific hopper right there. And it's going to be a three by three area. And then that way you can have lots of chests coming off of each of these different hoppers if you choose that. Now from here, all you're going to do is build a wall around the hoppers. And you're going to go up to that way. Nothing can actually break and get out of your... Um, your area that you're building and none of the creepers will be able to escape. We don't want any of that whatsoever. So let's destroy that one. If you want to leave the corner blocks on, you definitely can go ahead and do that. Now, this is pretty much the bottom part of the farm. We're going to put in the campfires a little bit later. Now, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to count out nine. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you're going to go up one and you're going to do this on each of the areas so we got two three four five six seven eight and nine and then up one and you're gonna do that on all four corners and then what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna fill this in diagonally so it'd be something kind of like this if i can actually reach that then you're gonna fill that in completely all the way around so you have a nice diamond shape when you're completely finished so this is what it should be looking like once you get everything kind of filled in the very center. Now what we need to do is place in our corner blocks. And we're basically just going to go just like this around the back side of all of this. And then we're going to connect it on all of the sides all the way around the entire farm. So now that you actually have that complete, we can actually go ahead and place in the water. So we're actually going to be building a little bit of a platform right here. And then what I like to do is I like to just put slabs around it. And this is what your slabs are going to look like right here. And then your slabs are going to go like this all the way around. So you'll be breaking the black, the back block back there at some point in time. This way it's spawn proof and nothing else will spawn down here. And then you're going to go ahead and place the three blocks there of water. And then you're actually going to raise up the inside just like this. And then place the slabs and you're going to be putting your blocks of water or buckets of water on each of these. Just make sure you don't put them on the slabs because that would be really bad. And this is what the water portion should look like when you are all complete with the bottom segment of the creeper only farm. Now from here, what we're actually gonna go ahead and do is build up just a few blocks. We're actually gonna build it up just two because you only need basically two for the creepers to spawn. And you're gonna be placing in a block. So this is actually going to be your first floor. Now the middle block is going to be where your water is actually going to be pumping in at. So we're going to actually count out from seven from that middle block. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to do that on all the sides. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
one two three four five six and seven you guys get the idea and then just go ahead and fill it in a diagonally as well now once you actually have that bottom layer all finished everything that we're doing from this point forward is going to be mimicked on each layer that you guys want to go ahead and create so if you only want six layers like what we're going to be building in this farm then you only need to do this six times but obviously if you want more than that you can definitely go ahead and do that so in the very middle of the farm you're going to break out that bottom block you're going to go ahead and place in a dispenser facing upwards you're going to go ahead and place a block and then what i recommend is just put in in your next dispenser facing upward and then breaking these two blocks and then placing an observer facing down or into that block um and then what we're going to do is just repeat this same process that we did the last layer and go out that seven blocks from that dispenser in all the directions and then you're going to build up as many layers as you would like However, before we actually get on to me building up the rest of this farm, I'm going to show you guys where you need to go ahead and place in your columns. So the middle point here, you're going to come over one and then down two, and you're going to do that in each of the directions. So this is where you want to basically put your mob proofing around. And this is actually going to be placed up too high all around. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be stone it can be whatever building material you want it could be glass whatever you guys prefer now from here you're going to go out two and then from here you're actually going to go out two and it's going to be the same on every single one that you place at that very beginning one so there there around here and also right there so that is the pattern that you guys need to actually copy all the way up Again, it's just one over and then down two is where you're going to be placing it at. And then that way, nothing else will spawn. Just make sure that when you're placing these columns that they aren't in the long ways because otherwise the water will not flow all the way to the very end and you're going to get a buildup of creepers and or whatever mobs that you're going to be creating in here. Now at the next, when we get to the next layer put in, what we're going to be doing is on the bottom, we're actually going to be putting trap doors on here. And that is to make sure that only creepers go ahead and spawn in this area. And so it's going to take a little bit of time to actually go ahead and build this next segment up. But if you guys want to make just the general mob farm that I was talking about earlier, then you can actually get rid of these columns and the trap doors don't need to be in there at all. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and build up the next five layers exactly the same way that we have this one. Now, once you have completed all of your layers, in this case, we have six. We got one, two, three, four, five, and then six. We're going to build out from the very center. We're actually going to go out another 10 blocks. So we already went seven. Then we're going to do it with just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on each of these angles. We got one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're going to do another basically diagonal of this and then you're going to fill that all in all the way around the entire farm and before we get too far if you guys are building this obviously in survival mode make sure that you guys are lighting up the middle section with torches or whatever you're going to be using to light it up otherwise by the time you get finished you're going to have a ton of creepers in there and they will ruin all of your progress now, at this point in time, once you actually have constructed the entire roof, you're actually going to go into each of the dispensers and place in a bucket of water. So I'll just go ahead and place one on each of the levels going all the way down. Now, once you have all of your water buckets placed in, make sure that you guys have your campfires in there as well, just to make sure that if you guys happen to get any of the creepers spawning, They'll actually go ahead and die and fall off to the very end and you'll collect the gunpowder. Now at the very top, what we're going to do is we're gonna actually going to replace this very center block here. That's actually going to go ahead and light everything good. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to use that mod and then that's going to place it down facing up for me. And then what I like to do is go ahead and build just an ethyl hopper clock up here. So if you guys don't know how to build one of those, we're going to go ahead and build one together real quick. So you guys are going to need two sticky pistons. You're going to need two pieces of redstone dust, two comparators, two hoppers, and then a couple blocks as well. And then you're going to need 
you know, half a stack of whatever block you want as your timer or however long you guys want it to be. And then on top of this one, what I like to do is make sure that you guys have your redstone repeater. And then obviously you're going to need a redstone block to go back and forth. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that down going to flush everything. And then we're going to put it on two tick. And then that should prevent everything from all the water from flowing again. All right. So now what we can do is we can actually build the far, or build the ethyl hopper clock. We're going to place that there. Uh, make on either side it doesn't matter which one and then what you're going to want to do is grab your sticky pistons one's going to go there with the space behind it and then one's going to go right next to it and then we're going to have the hoppers right behind where the redstone block is going to be and they're going to be facing into each other then we're going to have a compare to there compare to there block block redstone dust and redstone dust also make sure that the rest of this entire area up here is spawn proof otherwise when you guys are afking up at the very top and it turns to night you're going to get all the spawns on the very top here so now what you only need to do is go ahead and place in now i guess what you could do if you don't want to do this you could put half slabs on the top if you don't want to put full blocks up here or you can just re-slab the entire area completely up to you but we're not going to do that in today's video we're going to go ahead and throw in that half a stack it's going to activate the system and then what you're going to want to do is go 128 blocks up from whatever level your campfires are at so if we're going to be standing right here and this is where you need to basically be at so we're at level 165 you just add 128 to whatever level that you build this at wherever your campfires are at and then that is where your afk platform is going to be so i've been afk up here for only about five minutes or so and i'm at uh, y level 193 which is the 128 plus the 65 from before let's just go ahead and drop down to the very bottom and let's go ahead and see how much we have actually generated in that five minute time frame and got a couple string i'm not really sure how we actually got that because everything should be spawn protected unless i missed a i don't think i missed any more of the trap doors i double checked but everything should be fine but yeah we're, we're getting quite a few of the little creeper guys inside there you can see that that you saw that from the last time if we actually kind of just fly away from it a little bit we should see that a few of them should go ahead and spawn in relatively quickly and if you obviously make this farm a lot bigger then it should easily produce a ton of gunpowder that you guys will need for your survival world so uh really that's that's all that i got for you guys today so hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh it, it's a lot of fun to go ahead and make it and uh i hope that you guys use this in your worlds and get a ton of gunpowder but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming